Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start with Bitcoin number one, followed by Ethereum, BNB, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin, Tron, and then we're ending with Tongcoin at number 10. Let's get straight into it. BDC against USD. So BDC has touched a skinny pink line, something which I'm very, very wary of. Mm, are we going to recover from here? Mm, we're not sure. Are we going to touch the skinny pink line again? Not sure. I'm not sure. Again, this, this is not what I would consider as a bearish reversal chart pattern, right? Previously, there were bearish reversal chart patterns. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And then we drop, right? We had targets for it. Again, even over here as well, you can see clear descending triangles, right? This whole thing was a descending as well, triangle, right? We fell. Again, it came over here. Descending triangle, it fell, right? But at the moment, there's no bearish reversal. This, this, this is not a bearish reversal. It's lower highs, lower lows, right? It's something like a broadening wage. Broadening wages are bullish continuation chart patterns. So my assumption is preceding trend, bullish, subsequent trend, bullish. But there are some signs where it could turn bearish as in like we've already touched a skinny pink line. So I'm like, huh, 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 huh. Could we have a sharp drop? Take out these lows maybe? Drop to this noisy area, right around 44,000. Again, we're not entirely sure at this point of time. So we're going to have to wait and see how things go. Uh, there's just no, there's no bearish reversal chart pattern. So, you know, although we're touching the skinny pink line, uh, it has happened before uh, where we touched the skinny pink line over here. You know, and, and as this was developing, I was like, mm, really? Mm, I don't know, man. Yeah, so eventually we got a higher high. And then that's it, head and shoulders. So at the same time, over here, we're like, mm, I don't know. Uh, we actually have another target somewhere around 92k. So we might just go up here and this whole thing could be a head and shoulders. Something like that, right? I mean, of course, at the same time, we could also get a descending over here, right? Mountain 1, Mountain 2, Mountain 3. We collapse lower. But as, at this point of time, yeah, no, we're not sure. So we're going to have to wait and see how things go. F against BDC. But for the short term, right, I think there's still more downside. F against BDC, yeah, under the skinny pink line, trend is still bearish. I suspect we're heading towards 0 0.03. Still no signs of life yet. F against USD is really clearly under the skinny pink line. Uh, we're anticipating F to head to sub 2000. We were already at 2100. I suspect we're coming back down to clear the lows over here and here. Wouldn't be surprising, in my opinion, to see a rally as well. Right. And this whole thing could be a rising channel. Hovering close to the skinny pink line. Boing, boing, boing. As the skinny pink line curves down. Right. Rising which? Rising channel. Bam! We hit lower. Yeah, but anyway, it, it doesn't really look like there's anything at this point of time. So I will be careful with Ethereum. BNB. Okay, BNB is the only one uh, in the top three that's above the skinny pink line. Right. Only one uh, against BDC. So we're anticipating continuation from here. This looks to me like a consolidation. Against USD, BNB is, yeah, we were anticipating a right shoulder. Will it come? I don't know. There's a noisy area over here. So my assumption is uh, we'll head down to this area, close to the skinny pink line, and then we start reversing back up. Completing a right shoulder. Left shoulder, big head, right shoulder. Bam! We blast off. <laughs> this will be awesome, but we'll see how it goes. We shall see how it goes. Sol against BDC, Ooh, we're almost there. We're almost at the skinny pink line. We're almost touching it. So once we touch it, I suspect that uh, Sol could be heading lower. Right. But at the same time, this is also looking to me like a potential breakout towards the upside as well. Right. Doesn't look like a clear bearish reversal, but it's a consolidation. So we're just anticipating the direction of the breakout. Is it up or is it down? We're going close to the skinny pink line. So hmm, what do you think? What do you think? Sol against USD. Doesn't look good if you cut through the week over here, right? Cut through the week. This is a mountain range. Mountains, mountains, mountains. <laughs> Not good to me. So I suspect that uh, Sol is heading much, much lower. If and when Sol collapses, all the other Sol meme coins will be collapsing as well. So watch out for plenty of short opportunities. XRP against BDC. Here we are for XRP. Okay, again, uh, weekly reminder. The XRP is in a head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. But the thing is, we are in a rally, right? Noisy area, 
pretty high up. So that could be A again. Rally back to the noisy area. Right, this way it is. Before we come back down, right? So that could still be a little bit more to go, right? For XRP BDC, which would translate into XRP USD breaking out of the consolidation of wave E. Hey, bro. Bro. Okay. Yeah, so you see. A, B, C, D, E. Break out! A dollar sixty cents. Uh, yeah, that's what we're anticipating. Right. There's a possibility though that we would uh, take out these highs. Then we come back down. But for now, we'll stick with 160. So here we go. Here we go. Mm, Do wait, which is yeah, Dosh coin. Dosh against BDC. Here we are for Dosh. We are under the same pink line. That's not good. So we're anticipating Dodge to head towards this area. 109. 110, 109. We're at 165, so yeah, more downside. So be careful about rushing long for Dosh. Against USD, <laughs> bro, this whole thing, you see? Very big. Looks like a descending triangle, right? Yeah, we could hit much lower though. Again, I'm feeling hopeful that uh, eventually this, this might turn into a very big accumulation type of a chart pattern that they could break off towards the upside. But as it stands, it's very weak. So I would preach caution. TRX, one of the very few coins, is gaining momentum and is rising towards the upside. For TRX against BDC, we are going back above the skinny pink line. I'm not too sure what's happening. But could we be getting an inverse head and shoulders over here? Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Breakout? Not too sure. Not too sure. Against USD, Tron is still above the skinny pink line. So you see, technically, technically, Tron is still in a bullish trend. Right? Bam! It breaks out. So, oh, yeah, bro. Bro. This looks like a mountain range, right? You would anticipate. It break. Yeah, but eventually it rose higher. So the side technically, technically, we have not touched the skinny pink line yet. Skinny pink line, so that means the trend is still bullish. So yeah, looks like potentially Tron is going to break the all-time high. Hmm, Justin Sun performing magic. Torn coin against BDC. Here we are for Torn. Uh Torn BDC. We look at it on CoinX. Yeah, still above the skinny pink line. So technically, it's still in a bullish trend. But uh, we could be coming back down for A with B. You see? C, D, E. Right. So, yeah, this could be the next part of the move. Not too sure. We're not too sure. Um, Torn against USD. We'll look at it on the gate. Yeah, so Torn is still above the skinny pink line. Right. So technically, it's still bullish. But Pavel is, you know, in trouble at the moment. So if uh, Pavel could, you know, wiggle his way out of uh, trouble, then, yeah, potentially... You know, we would uh, expect Ton to resume its bullish trend to 13.50. Once it touches the skinny pink line, then I will assume that the head and shoulders is on. Left shoulder, gigantic head, right shoulder, pump. So as it stands, yeah, I will preach caution. Be very, very careful about going long for Ton at this point of time. We're still not uh, entirely certain. All right, hope you guys have a great, great day ahead of you. See you in the next one.